Alhamdulillah, I was a person that was extreme Christian. This is the reason why I can understand them sometimes, and this is the reason why I understand uh, their dilemma. So this is the reason I understand the dilemma, because I was one of those extreme Christians. I was one of those people that uh, that used to read the Bible and stay up and, you know, read the Bible. And, and this is the, uh, the thing that I, when I was talk to those Christians, like uh, the person who was just speaking, the majority of these Christians have never read the Bible from cover to cover. They've never read the Bible from Genesis to Revelations. Alhamdulillah, this is something uh, something that Alhamdulillah I can say that I did as a Christian. I actually I, I read the Bible, I studied the Bible, I believed in the Bible. You know, I believe since I made sacrifice for me. It's something that I believe that works, and this is a this is a pattern that I have chosen. But well, when I was in South Carolina with other Christian, and the Christian was telling me about some guy reading some book and how the guy was completely misled and how he was reading some book and he was a Muslim and I didn't even know what a Muslim was. I, d I, I never even heard of a Muslim. So I had to go witness to the guy. So I go to the guy and I'm telling him, don't you know that Jesus died for your sins? Don't you know that God loves you? That he Shut up, Ashley. You dropped the mic. Come back and take the mic, Ashley. Okay. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. But uh, but as I was saying, man, I was a person that was extreme Christian. So I uh, uh, I go to a, I was with another Christian in South Carolina, and he was telling me about a guy who was reading some book. The guy was a Muslim reading some book. And at that time, I didn't even know what a Muslim was. I never even heard of a Muslim. Never even heard of it. Didn't know what a Muslim was. You know, I'm from from Kentucky. I never saw a Muslim. So I go to the guy and I start to witness to him. You know, don't you know that Christ died for your sins? Don't you know that God sent His Son to die for ultimate sacrifice so you can have eternal life? So I'm going through the whole witnessing thing. I'm witnessing to the guy, trying to uh, bring this guy to believe. That, that Christ had died for his sins because I'm I'm believing I'm bringing him to salvation. And I'm I'm believing by bringing this guy to believe that Christ died for his sins. I'm bringing him to salvation and he can have eternal life. You know. So as I'm talking to the guy, the guy never said a word. He never said a word the whole time. I'm going on and on about uh, you know how what 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 Jesus had done. He never said a word. So I asked him what was he reading. He's reading the Quran. So, I thought I was smart. I thought I was smart. So I told him, I will trade you my Bible for your Quran. But the deal is, the deal is, I'll read your book and you read my book. That was the deal. So, you know, this is my, my conversion tactic. My conversion tactic is if I got the Bible in his hands, and he was able to read the Bible, and he was able to study the Bible, you know, he, he would come to Christ. And he would know that Christ died for his sins. He would come to, to, to Christ. Well, anyway, I get the, the Quran, and I start reading it. And I didn't believe it. I did, I did not believe the Quran. I didn't believe it. Then I kept reading and reading and reading because I kept my word. I still didn't believe it. Then I, all of a sudden, you find a little thing here. Okay, this is a little different. You find a little thing there. Okay, this is a little different. Then you start, okay, I'm reading the Bible sometimes, I'm reading the Quran sometimes, and then slowly, I think I just start reading the Quran a little more. Then I start seeing things in the Quran that I know knew a human being couldn't have known. There's, there's no way a human being could have known some of the things that's in the Quran. And I think that, um, so I gave, became a struggle with it myself, where I... Um, I was beginning to believe that there was one God. I was beginning to believe that Muhammad, peace be upon him, was a messenger. So, uh, as a period of time goes on, I think the the last, my last resistance that made me believe the Quran was uh, was the truth was when I was reading the Sword of Ant, and it mentions that the ants were female. 
That was my last resistance. I knew that no human being could have known that a work for Ant was a female. That was my, my last resistance. And after that, uh, I went looking for I went looking for Muslims. I, at that time, I never saw a Muslim. Then, I happened to be in Evansville, Indiana. Evansville, Indiana. And I'm, I'm standing with a guy in Evansville, Indiana. We were talking. The guy, same thing. He's not talking to me. So we were just talking. And all of a sudden, the subject of religion comes up. And he asked me, what do I believe? I told him I believe there's one God. And he asked me, uh, uh, do you believe God is three? I told him, no, I don't believe God is three. God is one. He asked me, uh, do you believe, what do you believe? I said, I believe there's one God. He asked me, what do I think about Muhammad? I said, he was a prophet. I said, the people think that people worship Muhammad. He's a prophet. He asked me, are you Muslim? I told him, no. And then... I mean, that was when the honor. He's from Louisville, Kentucky, and I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. We both happen to be from Louisville, Kentucky. He told me where the masjid was in, in Louisville, Kentucky. I went, uh, when I got back to Louisville, that Friday, I went to the Jum'ah. And before the Jum'ah, I went to the Imam. I told him I wanted to be Muslim. And, uh, and of course, the Imam is, is telling me, you know, you should, uh, you should learn about Islam. You should learn, you know, study this. He didn't know that I'd already been, it's been like a year and a half that I was studying. It had been like a year and a half since I had gotten the Quran. So after the Juma, I took Shahada, and, uh, and he did, he, to this day, he don't remember giving me Shahada. He don't even remember. He don't even remember. So, Alhamdulillah, that was, uh, uh, my conversion story. Sweet Pea, we love Christ too. We love Jesus Christ too. We love Jesus Christ, you know, but we don't worship Him as God. That's the difference. But uh, all right, uh, Mike Free.